Well, here we are at Paisley Gilmore Street and uh, yeah, I've featured this station on the channel before because isn't it absolutely wonderful? And uh, yeah, I suppose uh, an international journey has to start somewhere and Paisley Gilmore Street is where we're starting today. And there's a good reason for that. I was playing American football yesterday in Glasgow and there's quite a nice converted post office, the Weatherspoons there. And I thought, well, I'll pop up to Paisley, have a nice breakfast, chill out for an hour and then uh, we can get this train to Prestwick and then from Prestwick to Malaga. So yeah what's interesting about this is most flights out of Glasgow of course go from Glasgow's main international airport but for whatever reason Ryanair run a few of their flights out of Glasgow Prestwick which is just down the line here on the way to air. So uh, yeah I thought uh, never flown out of Prestwick and in fact I need to be in Malaga anyway because that's where I'm meeting my wife for our holiday. So I thought what a good excuse to uh, have a look at Glasgow Prestwick and uh, ask the question why is it still being used or why should it not be used more? Is there any reason? I'm sure you'll all be tapping away on the comments now about Prestwick but uh, yeah it seems sort of uh, Odd that there aren't more flights, so uh, maybe answer when we get to Malaga, we'll answer the question, why aren't there more flights out of Prestwick? Right, so uh, yeah, there's a train just coming in over there, and uh, yeah, our train is due in about 10 minutes, so uh, hop on that and uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, before my train comes, let's talk about Glasgow and its airports. As you see from the Red Ring, Glasgow's main airport is much closer to the city than Prestwick, but of course... Proximity is not the same as accessibility. There's a number 500 Airport Express bus out from central Glasgow to the airport every 12 minutes and the journey time is just 15 minutes with a one-way fare being £10. Conversely, our train for Prestwick will leave Glasgow Central every 30 minutes and complete the journey down to Prestwick with a few stops on the way in 46 minutes, with a single ticket costing £9.60. So yes, the main airport appears to be a little bit more convenient. However, if your flight from Prestwick is the one going to where you actually want to go, or it has better flight times, or it is significantly cheaper... I'd contend that you wouldn't be put off by this slightly longer journey. And a train rolling into the platform from Glasgow Central is made up of some Class 318 multiple unit sets. These run many of the commuter services in this part of the Greater Glasgow area. At this time of the day, on a Sunday, these long trains have plenty of space, including space for bikes, wheelchairs and luggage. As you could probably tell from my voice on the platform, it was a very long day playing football the previous day, and I was very tired indeed. So, just chilling out and watching the countryside slide by was a very good start to the journey. This isn't so much a train trip report, but it's still nice to pause at Troon to see how the rebuild of the station is progressing after the catastrophic fire of 2021. And then through the gloom we start to spy Prestwick and the train pops me out on the platform spot on time at 11.46. Well that's the first leg done on the train and um, Prestwick International Airport Station which is notable because Prestwick International Railway Station is, uh, is not in ScotRail colours because it's not a ScotRail station. It's actually owned and managed by the airport itself. Probably one of the very few stations on the network that, uh, that is like that. Anyway, let's uh, get across that walkway and have a look at the airport. The airport railway station opened in 1994. And although it isn't anything special, it does do the job very well. And as we get to the top of the escalator, we can see there's also lifts for step-free access. And just like the station, the walkway is functionally fine. And it doesn't take long to reach the automatic doors that lead you out into the concourse. There's a lovely feeling of space and light here in this terminal building, which dates from 1964.
and my first job is to check this luggage, which, for flying, neatly turns from a backpack into a suitcase. There's now just one shop in the concourse, although there used to be many more as you can see. I think it's time we had a look outside. Well, what a fab airport. It's like it's dropped out of a time warp, hasn't it? I feel I should be uh, queuing up at the BOAC desk or something. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I hope that it doesn't get closed or anything because, yeah, I mean, I love stuff like this. This is great. And then, of course, there's Elvis Presley. And once in departures, there's a lot of Elvis. You see, the airport claims this is the only part of Britain that Elvis has ever visited, as his plane stopped here to refuel in 1960. Anyway, departures is also simple, but there's a duty-free, a cafe bar and another WH Smith's. Soon we are called forward along the sinuous corridors that eventually lead to a queue for the gate. But finally, we make it out onto the tarmac to board our Ryanair Boeing 737. And it's time to get this bird in the air and departure is spot on time at 13.25. And we take off in a northwesterly direction straight out over the harbour and marina at Troon. From here on in, we're above the thick clouds and heading south for Spain. Just north of Malaga, we bank over the Guadalajara reservoirs, and just along from here is the famous Caminito del Rey walk along the river gorge. And on the approach, we once more fly over the river and also the A7 motorway. And the wheels come down at 17.15 local time, just 2 hours and 50 minutes in the air. And the price, I think, was pretty good. It was just £63.65 for the flight, and that included a 20 kilogram hold baggage allowance. And now the sun is shining and it's at least 20 degrees centigrade. And of course, that's what we've all flown south from Glasgow for. There's no need for our big coats now. At times, Malaga can be a busy airport, but apparently Sunday tea time in February is not one of them. And as we come down the ramp, there is pretty much no queue at all for passport control. I got through passport control and picked up my bag very quickly. And so out of the airport we go and on to the city. But not straight away. I'll leave Johnny to explain why it has suddenly got dark. Here we are now outside the airport. And I know what you're thinking, it got dark very quickly. But actually, I'm staying at the Holiday Inn Express just down the way there. So I got rid of my heavy bag and coat. And uh, now we'll pick up the journey on into Malaga, to the station. It's probably about a two-minute walk across the way to the entrance to the railway station. And again, it's very quiet here. And all you have to do is tap your debit or credit card or your phone against the reader and the gate will open. And there's a train every 20 minutes towards either Malaga or Fuengarola, as we are now on Malaga's Line C1. So just a couple of minutes walk actually from arrivals and then just tap through with your uh, card 
and uh, on the platform. And the next train for Fuengarola over on platform one will be in about three minutes and I've got 15 minutes to wait. I'm off to have a look at Malaga. The trains operating the line are now pretty modern Renfe Sivia units which run of course on the local Iberian gauge. Going towards the city you can either get off at Maria Zambrano, the main station, or go further into the city. I shall travel to Maria Zambrano station as I fancy a walk on the beach which is nearby. This train was too busy to point a camera about and so we jump out at Malaga Maria Zambrano station, the main long distance station for the city. And when you get to the top of the stairs, just tap out. And a couple of days later, my credit card account had been charged one euro eighty. So there it is, that's how easy it is to uh, get from the centre of Glasgow all the way here to the, uh, the centre of Malaga. With a train, a plane and another train. And uh, I think we'd probably all agree that airports with railway stations are absolutely brilliant. It's the only way to go. Would I use Glasgow Prestwick again? Definitely. Um, the little local train runs you up there, no problem at all. Maybe takes slightly longer than the 500 bus would take to get you to the main Glasgow airport, but there's nothing in it. Of course, when you get to the airport, you then get a lovely time warp of uh, falling back into the 70s. And uh, like I was saying, outside the, uh, the airport, it felt like you were waiting for your BOAC flight to Frankfurt or something. So, uh, yeah, actually, BOAC wouldn't fly to Frankfurt. It felt like you were waiting for your BOAC flight to New York. So we'll leave him talking to himself, and I will bid you a very goodbye on a lovely warm evening by the beach at Malaga. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more of Malaga then click here for a ride from Malaga to Cordoba.